Good morning, Anthony. I'm down here at Wascana Park, where normally thousands of people would be gathering throughout the day for the festivities. This year, all of that has been canceled. In fact, events all across the Queen City and really all of Saskatchewan have moved to a digital platform. There's consensus on the need to tackle social issues. The sticking point is money. How do you spend it and where is it coming from? Adam was a strong kid, so I'm going to be trying to be strong for him. There's a feeling of weight in the air, a sense of loss only felt in small towns. Momar is a town of 500 people, but today over 1,300 are here, all grieving Adam Harold. One of Regina's largest employers is laying off around 100 employees, citing the pressures of the pandemic. The notice comes as the co-op refinery complex prepares to welcome back hundreds of workers after a grueling six-month labor dispute. Connor O'Donovan has more on the rationale and the response from the workers' union. Here at the Capitol Point site, Westgate Properties has control of the whole. that's supposed to be Capitol Point. But what was up for debate today was whether or not they could control the sidewalks and the surrounding city infrastructure until construction is complete. The appointment comes exactly one year after a scathing independent review of the RCMP, citing allegations of sexual harassment, racism and discrimination in the force. Prime Minister Trudeau has said he's positive a NAFTA agreement can be reached without steel tariffs on Canadian exports. We won't accept a bad deal, but we know that because a good deal for everyone is possible, we're going to get there. Well, ever since the death of George Floyd, police actions and budgets around the world have been under the microscope. Currently, a campaign is underway in Saskatoon to defund the police. And as Nathaniel Dove reports, those demands will soon be heard. The proposed Police Amendment Act gives Saskatchewan's civilian oversight body the power to appoint an overseer for investigations into police. It would also grant them oversight into investigations in a number of other complaints against officers, a step towards transparency and accountability. Could see some severe thunderstorms in the afternoon, but you also see this convection right here, this yellow and orange right near the Queen City. We're expecting our own thunderstorms to come a little later on in the day. They should start pushing out around 6, 7 o'clock. You can still see some scattered showers, though, potentially coming to the Queen City in the evening, then mainly sunny from there on out for the remainder of the week. Well, good morning and thanks for joining us. As any parent will tell you, kids have been restless with playgrounds and beaches closed by the public health order. That will change as phase three continues to roll out this week. And as Alison Bamford explains, the kids and their families, they're ready for it. It was a curling town, but it was as much the bond spiels as the borscht that brought this Romanian community together. The ladies always had pierogies and cabbage rolls and stuff like that. Today, a classic Saskatchewan summer day. It's hot and stormy. 29 degrees our daytime high today, already above the 20s and spending most of the day there. There will be a breeze 20 to 40 kilometers an hour. And then, like I mentioned, a 30% chance we could see some showers, possibly even a thunderstorm a little later on in the day. The pair aren't sure where balloons will take them or how they'll turn out. They have more than enough experience making things that are out of this world. Colton Prale, Global News.